Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, I will show you 50 words that you are probably pronouncing incorrectly right now. And I'll also teach you how to say them correctly. Let's start with this word. How do you say it? Well, we say pronounce, pronounced, and pronouncing, but pronunciation. There's no noun in this word. It's pronunciation. Word number two is says. This word is commonly mispronounced by people learning English as says. But remember, I say, you say, but he or she says. Number three is etc. A very common incorrect pronunciation is to say ek, etc. instead of et. Don't say that. And also remember that the stress is on se. So the word is etc. You will also hear etc. That is less common, but it's okay too. Next up is often. Some pronounce this as often. Now strictly speaking, often is not wrong, but the more common pronunciation is with the T silent. So I recommend that you always say often. One word that's often mispronounced by learners of English is women. This is, of course, because of the English language's crazy spelling system. But remember that we say woman for one woman and women for the plural. Women. Word number six is police. This isn't police or polis. It's pa and lease with the stress on lease. So police. The next word is vehicle. It's often pronounced wrongly as vehicle, but the E is a long vowel and the H is silent, so vehicle. Number eight is this word. How would you say it? The correct pronunciation is genre. Pay attention to the first sound. It's like sh, but you have to put your voice into it. Genre, genre. Next up is actually what you're watching right now, video. The important thing is that both the I and the E are pronounced as short I sounds. It's not video, it's video. If you watch a video on YouTube or Facebook, you might leave a comment. I have heard many speakers say comment. Now whether you use this word as a noun or as a verb, the first syllable is always com, so it's never a comment, it's a comment. Word number 11 is interesting. This is mispronounced sometimes as interesting, but there are only three syllables, in, tra, sting, and the stress is on in, so the word is interesting. Number 12 is hotel. There are two syllables, ho, and tell, like the English word tell, as in tell me, the stress is on the second syllable, so hotel. A related word is suite. This means a set of connected rooms in a hotel, and this is wrongly pronounced by many people as suit, but it's sweet, like when you eat a piece of candy, sweet. And while we're on the topic of suites and hotels, I cannot leave out this word, restaurant. It gives a lot of English learners trouble. But don't let the fancy spelling confuse you. The second syllable is just t, and the third is rot, so restaurant. In British English, you might hear just two syllables, restaurant. That is also correct. After you eat at a restaurant, you have to pay the bill. But you might get a discount on your bill if you have one of these, a coupon. A common incorrect pronunciation is coupon, but the second syllable should be pawn, so coupon. Here's word number 16. How would you say it? The proper pronunciation is not break fast, it's breakfast. Break with a short e eh sound and fast with an uh sound, so breakfast. You know what I had for breakfast today? I had this, pizza. Really, I did. 
It's not a pizza and it's not a pizza. There's no z sound in this word. It's pizza. Pizza. Another food word that's mispronounced a lot is vegetable. It's not vegetable. If you say it correctly, there are only three syllables. Vegetable. Vegetable. Let's talk about a couple of vegetables now. This is a cucumber. It's not a cucumber. Think of it like saying the letter Q and then cumber like number. So cucumber. This vegetable is called lettuce. I know the spelling looks like it's lettuce, but it's not. It's lettuce. And since we're talking about food, here's a food that just about everybody loves. Chocolate. When you ask for this at the store, make sure that there are only two syllables. Choc and let. Chocolate. And remember, there's no late in chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, how would you say this word? This is dessert. Notice that the first syllable is de and the second starts with a z sound. We stress the second syllable, dessert. This word refers to something sweet that's eaten at the end of a meal and it should not be confused with desert. Here, the stress is on the first syllable, which is de, desert. Now, I said that desserts are sweet. But what about this taste? It's pronounced sour. Some people say sour. That is a mispronunciation. The only correct way to say this word is sour. Many words in the English language have silent letters. That is, letters that we don't pronounce. As in word number 24, receipt. The P is silent. When you purchase something or you pay a bill, you get a receipt. Now, if you don't pay your bills, you might find yourself in debt. The B is silent in this word, so debt. If a debt is related to your house, it might be a mortgage. This word means a loan that a bank gives you to buy a house. So which letter is silent here? It's the T. The first syllable is more and the second is gidge, so mortgage. Number 27 is this word. How would you say it? It's subtle. The B is silent. Subtle means something that is difficult to notice or something that isn't obvious. And once again, the word is pronounced subtle. Another popular word with a silent letter is singer. The G is silent. Now, we say finger, we say the G. Younger, again with the G, but singer, no G. And what would you call someone who fixes taps and pipes at your house? You call him a plumber, not a plumber. The B is silent, so plumber. In fact, in many words, when you have the letter combination MB, the B is silent. If I had a ladder in front of me now, I could climb the ladder, not climb. A quick note, in the pronunciation symbols that you see on the screen, the AI is an I sound, not an A sound. So the word is climb. By the way, what's this? This is my thumb. It's not my thumb. It's pronounced thumb. And uh, what about this? This is a comb. Not a comb, a comb. A similar sounding word is tomb. It's often wrongly pronounced as tomb, but the B is silent and the O is pronounced with an oo sound. So, tomb. A tomb is a place, like the Taj Mahal, where a person, usually an important person, is buried. We say bury. Now, when I first heard this as a kid, I was really surprised because I used to say bury. I mean, it looks like that, right? But this word sounds just like the berry in strawberry. So once again, bury. But back to silent letters. How do you say this day of the week? It's Wednesday. The D is silent. Sometimes it's pronounced as Wednesday, but the proper way to say it is Wednesday.
What about this word? Sword. Many people say sword, but that is totally wrong. It's just sword. And here's one last word with silent letters. Clothes. But what's silent here? Well, first of all, this word is not cloths. When we say clothes, the TH in the middle can often be silent. Clothes. But it's not wrong if you say these letters with a D sound. Clothes. That's also correct. In some words, people think a letter is silent, but it's not. For example, look at this word. What is it? It's Arctic. This is the name for the region at the North Pole of the Earth. It's mispronounced by many as Arctic, but it's actually Arctic. The C in the middle is not silent. Similarly, Antarctic and Antarctica. That's the name of the region at the South Pole. Sometimes people also mistakenly insert letters or sounds that are not there. Like in the word mischievous. This is not mischievous. There is no I after the V. The last syllable is just vus, so mischievous. And then there are words that have hidden sounds that we don't recognize, like the word tuition. It's tuition in American English and tuition in British English. So what's the hidden sound here? Well, the first syllable is easy, tu American or tu British. But after that, it's not ishin, it's Wishin, tuition. You have to put the w sound there. So, tuition. Word number 41 is this word. How do you say it? If you said zoology, it's actually wrong. That is a very common mispronunciation. This is actually zoology. Zo and ology. Zoology. Number 42 is develop. This is pronounced wrongly by many learners of English as develop. But the first syllable is actually de, and the stress is on the second syllable, so develop. Our next word is photography. We say photograph, but photography. So the first syllable becomes pho, and the stress goes to the second syllable, photography. So photography. In the same way, photographer. Word number 44 is jewelry. It's spelled differently in American and British English, but it's pronounced the same. Jewelry. Jewelry. It's not jewelry and it's not jewelry. It's jewelry. Up next is the word quote. This is not pronounced the same as coat. The correct way to say it is with a qu sound at the beginning, quote. Similarly, we have quotation and quotation marks. Another punctuation term that many people get wrong is parentheses. This is the proper name for the round brackets that we use in writing. If you talk about just one bracket, you say parenthesis. The stress is on ren. If you're talking about both, the plural is parentheses. The last syllable becomes sees, parentheses. Word number 47 is this word. It's not so much that it's mispronounced, it's just that it's said differently in the UK and in the US. In American English, this is schedule. The first syllable is ske and the second is jewel, schedule. In British English, it can be both schedule or schedule. So you can choose the pronunciation that's right for you. Number 48 is the word elite. Actually, there are two correct pronunciations, elite and elite. Both are okay, but just don't say elite. There's no light in elite. Now, if you keep practicing your pronunciation, and avoid the mistakes that I've shared with you in this lesson, you might just become English pronunciation elite one day. In fact, you might even become the epitome of good pronunciation. 
This word means a perfect example of something. And the perfect pronunciation of that is epitome. It's not epitome. Once again, epitome. Of course, once you have become the epitome of good pronunciation, don't go around correcting everybody for every single pronunciation mistake that they make. Because that way, instead of becoming famous, you might just become infamous. This word is the opposite of famous, and it means famous for something bad. But it's not pronounced infamous, it's pronounced infamous. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions at all, you can always ask me in the comments section below and I will talk to you there. Happy learning and I'll see you in another lesson soon.